I'm Mike Jones with 8 Circuit Studios. In our last video, we demonstrated how we had integrated a cryptocurrency wallet and tokens into our game DeepArt. In this video, I'll be demonstrating our early prototyping of smart game objects. The first smart game object we create is the character you play in DeepArt. Here we have several choices of character types that can be selected. Each character has specific attributes that will impact gameplay. Again, these are all placeholder, but we'll just select one to get started. Once we select our character, you'll see that we start communicating with the blockchain in order to save that data publicly. We are currently prototyping on the Ethereum testnet Ropeston. Smart game objects are Ethereum contracts that contain some essence of the game that is important to the gamer. Deep Arc will be a difficult game where planning ahead and mastery of the game systems are required to build a powerful character. That character is part of the essence of our game. We then give the gamers the ability to mutate or advance that essence of the game that is stored on the blockchain. And here it is. This is the contract address of the character we just created. Now our character is a contract, not just a token. To date, what we've seen in other games are simply tokens representing objects. Being a contract is what allows us to make mutations or advancements to the character later. If we jump over to Etherscan, we can take a look at that contract. And let me, uh, let me refresh here. 29 seconds ago, we made this new character. And if we drill down on this contract, we can see that the owner of the contract is the same address as the wallet that I created in our last demo. If we go a little bit further down into this contract and follow this down, you can see that once we get here, this blocky, which represents the actual contract itself, is actually the same as the blocky here that identifies the contract address. Take note of this blocky that we generated for this example. These are three randomly generated colors for the sake of our demo. And as we start the game, and it takes just a moment. This is the intro as your character comes to awareness. Again, it's all placeholder at this moment, so don't plan that this will be your experience once you get the game in your hands. Notice the color of the floor up here. This green, this is the same green from the blocky that I asked you to know earlier. What we've done is we've taken the information that is stored as part of your character on the blockchain and translated it into the game world. Think for a moment of the implications of this. For any object in the game, data that can be stored or read off the blockchain, which impacts the world directly. Additionally, if the player wanted, they could change the attributes that are stored in the smart game object. We're really excited by what we've accomplished to date. We've managed to integrate wallets and tokens into our game, and we've created the first smart game objects. These are objects that capture a part of the essence of the game and give that control to the player and the player then owns those objects. They keep them in their wallet and they have control of them. Be sure to follow us. Our links are in the description below and we'll continue unveiling more about smart game objects and the ecosystem we're building around it. And we want you to be a part of that system. Thanks again.